I don't know about you, but after I've had my meal on Christmas Day, I love a TV Christmas special. So let's talk about them. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today 6, isn't it? Of Vlogmas. And today I wanted to talk about something that's very special to my heart and that is British TV comedies. Now, I'm aware that a lot of my viewers are from overseas, so I'm just going to talk about these TV shows that you should be watching on Christmas Day to give you a laugh, as if you've never heard of them before, so here we go. Okay, so yeah, we're talking about the Christmas specials of British TV shows, and the first one that I want to talk about is actually first alphabetically, and it's called Absolutely Fabulous. Sweetie. If you don't know what AppFab is, that's what it's shown to. It stars Joanna Lumley and Jennifer Saunders as Adina Monsoon and Patsy Stone. They are the wackiest, wildest, self-indulgent characters I've ever seen on TV. And they have several Christmas specials over the years, and the most recent one being in 2004. And so, the, yeah, the most recent Christmas special of that involves Patsy Stone eat, eating, involves her eating something for the very first time since the 1970s. I'm not sure how that works, but that's just what she does. So she ends up having a bit of turkey on Christmas Day, and, well, I don't want to give it away, so I want you to watch it. They're all on Britbox or on YouTube if you want to watch any of these shows. So the next one that I want to talk about is a show called My Family, and this was around, this was a TV show in the UK that was around from 2000 to 2011 and it stars Robert Lindsay and Zoe Wanamaker as the lead characters. They've got several Christmas specials. Uh, again, it's a, it's about a, like a middle class family and the husband of the duo, he is a dentist and the wife, she is an, she's like a tour guide amongst other, other things and so they have a bit of a comfortable life, but the shenanigans that they get up to with, uh, with well, with their marriage and then their kids as well, and then their kids' friends is really hilarious. Good family fun, so definitely check that out. The next one, the two Ronnies, yep, very prominent in the nineteen eighties and nineteen nineties. They've got several Christmas specials. Check those out. They are a huge source of laughter for me. The next one. Um, it's One Foot in the Grave, and if you've not heard of that, it's where the catchphrase, I don't believe it, comes from, and the title character is Victor Meldrew, he is played by Richard Wilson, uh, they have, I think, five Christmas specials, that show ran from 1990 to 2000, with a total of five series and several Christmas specials, check that one out, it's so funny, the writing it's just superb. Now this next one is called Are You Being Served? And it was around in the 1970s and 80s and it's a comedy show that's set in Grace Brothers and it's like a department store. And so you've got the likes of Molly Sugden, John Inman, Frank Thornton, uh, Trevor Bannister, they all play, uh, Wendy Richard before she got famous in EastEnders. She was Miss Brahms. Uh, Oh, it's just absolutely hilarious. Again, so well written. It's oh, it's just hysterical, some of the things that they get up to. Uh, so definitely check that one out. And also, as I'm talking about these shows, if you have any favourite Christmas specials, please let me know in the comments because there might be some that I'm not aware of that I just need to watch because for me and my family, watching TV on Christmas Day, that is just our thing. We absolutely love it. The next one, it's what brought an immense amount of fame and it's called Keeping Up Appearances. She plays the title character that's actually called Hyacinth Bucket but she prefers to pronounce the surname Bouquet and that's a great source of embarrassment to her because no one can ever get her name right. And yeah they have from what I can recall at least five Christmas specials and one of them it involves Hyacinth going on the QE2 with her husband Richard and then them bumping into this family that they well, that Hyacinth tries to keep a secret because Hyacinth's like a character that she's a bit of a social climber, but her family is actually just like you or I, just working class. But she tries to hide that fact, and um, she bumps into her sister on the QE2, and I won't give too much away because if you manage to watch that, 
again, another great piece of British writing. This next one uh, is one that I've watched, I used to watch it with my mum actually, when I used to sit with her in her armchair when I was that little. And it's called Birds of a Feather. I actually got to meet the cast of Birds of a Feather when they did the stage version of the show before they brought it back on ITV because it was originally on BBC. And it's about these three women, two of them, their husbands are in prison for armed robbery. The other woman is the Jewish nymphomaniac that lives next door. And yeah, I got to meet them. They have lots of Christmas specials. One of them involves them going to Hollywood because one of the characters thinks that their dad is George Hamilton. Yeah, go and check that out. Again, fantastic writing. It will have you in absolute hysterics. And that was made in the 90s. And the 90s is just my thing. I love it. The next one is a more recent one and it stars Ruth Jones and James Corden and Matthew Horn and Joanna Page. Yeah, Joanna Page and it's called Gavin and Stacey. They've got two Christmas specials. One was in 2009 and the other one was a couple of years ago actually. So, And the premise of that show is it started with two people meeting because they talked to each other on the phone because they worked for different companies and they met up. One was from Essex and one was from Wales and they met up and the story just kind of goes from there. It's really good. This next one it originally ran from 1979 to 1981 and it stars Penelope Keith and Peter Bowles and it's to the manor born. They have two or three Christmas specials. The one that I'm thinking of is from 1979. Uh, you know back when when the BBC had its heyday, it was fantastic writing and it's just so innocent, it's set in the country. It's about this couple, one, she she lives in this huge estate called Grantley Manor. Her husband died, she had to sell everything and go live in a cottage. And then the person that bought the house, you know, the manor, she eventually goes on to marry him so she can get her manor back. But there's lots of twists and turns along the way, so catch that. And the last one, Again, absolutely hysterical, and it's called The Vicar of Dibley, which stars Don French as Geraldine Granger. Never fails to make me laugh, as I've watched it so, so many times, but it never, ever fails to make me laugh. Do go and check that. And a couple of honourable mentions. We have shows like Only Fools and Horses, which stars David Jason, lots of Christmas. Another BBC comedy called The Royal Family, spelled R-O-Y-L-E. That's about a family that come from Manchester, and it is so cleverly written by Caroline Ahern and Craig Cash. Oh, you, I can't explain how hilarious it is, so you just need to watch it. And yeah, that's my favourite Christmas specials, so again, like I said, let me know in the comments what ones you like to watch. Let me know if you watch any of these that I'm talking about. And if you've missed the other episodes of Vlogmas, they're in the playlist below. And I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Take care, be kind to yourself and others. Bye.